What is up guys? So this will be my official Iceman debut. And in my community poll, you guys voted for me to take on Magneto with my first game with Iceman. So we're going to be facing him on in expert mode. Let's go ahead and get Magneto set up. So the main scheme says to set the or orbital decay side scheme right here aside, which you already have set aside. And then we also put the boring part side scheme to play right here, coming with three threat. And it says Magneto cannot have more than six sustained damage. Let's add base and main scheme to stage 1B, starting off with one threat here. Magneto comes in with Steady and Toughness. And then let's shuffle up the encounter deck. Magneto has a one rebuke effect. It says to deal each player a face down encounter card. So let's shuffle up and we get one face down encounter card here to start this game off. And then with Bobby Drake, it says we begin the game with six Frostbite upgrades set aside. That's going to be these guys right here. Attach enemy gets minus one scheme, minus one attack. After attach enemy activates or leaves play, we set his card aside as a force response. So Iceman has many ways to attach these cards to different enemies. Let's go and set these aside, and we're going to shuffle up our player deck here. And we're going to draw up to our hand size of six. And let's see what we got. And we got our crowd kinetic perception, which is pretty good. Um, I like self confidence. I guess keep team building as well. Let's move and discard these three cards and then draw three more. And we got the power belt here. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form. Uh, we don't. Hmm. Let's use this right here, self confidence. It says double the number of resources this card generates if your identity has sustained less than five damage, and triple the resource instead if you have sustained no damage. We're full, full life, so this is a triple resource, so we can play our crowd connect perception. Two cost upgrade. After you resolve your freeze ability, we can exhaust this card and draw a card. If it has an ice rate, we can ready up Iceman. Let's have Iceman swing for two at my needle and trigger our freeze ability. Interrupt when you make a basic attack or basic defense. Attach a copy of Frostbite to that enemy. So Menu has Frostbite, the two damage will knock off this tough status card. Since we trigger our freeze ability, we can exhaust the Croc Connect Perception and then draw a card. If it has an ice rate, which it does, we can ready back up. Okay, Snow Clone is really good here. Because now we can play Snow Clone with the Power Belt. But then we lose team building. I think that's, and we lose a lot of allies actually. Uh, I think Snow Clone's not the best ally to go, but I want the Power Belt out. We could also go for team building, but then we lose our Power Belt. Yeah, I mean, the Power Belt is, I think, more important than team building. I would like to play Power Belt and then an ally that's not so Clone, but we have no choice. Okay, two resources here. So we can play our Power Belt, which is a two cost Iceman upgrade. We get plus three hit points, so we go from 11 up to 14. And we can exhaust this card in hero form to generate a wild resource for an ice card. That's one resource is the second resource to play Snow Clone, which is an ice card. Snow Clone is going to swing for two at Magneto. That will bring from 20 down to 18, our first damage to him already. And Snow Clone does not take consequential damage when attacking an enemy with Frostbite attached. So no consequential damage on Snow Clone because Magneto has Frostbite. Iceman is going to swing for two at Magneto. That will bring him from 18 down to 16. And we're going to trigger Freeze again to give him another copy of Frostbite. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up and then draw back up to our hand size of five. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Magneto's turn. He's going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us. We're going to defend and trigger freeze. So his interrupt happens before the attack. And then when Iceman makes a base attack or base defense, we can give him another copy of Frostbite to the enemy. And then since we trigger freeze, we can trigger our crowd connect perception. When you use your freeze ability, exhaust this card, draw a card. If it has an ice trait, it does not. We could have ready, but it doesn't have the ice trait. So we're defend for two. Manuel's hitting with a base of zero because he has three cops of frostbite, which each give him minus one attack. So he's hitting with a base of zero. This would be his boost, zero. So it does no damage to us. After he attacks, he plays a mana counter main scheme. And a force response is we must set all the cops of frostbite uh, set aside again. In counter phase, we get an encounter card, total of two. First one is an advance. Manu is going to scheme with a base of two plus a boost of two. So he's going to pop the main scheme already, which is not great for us. 
a little unfortunate there. And we got uh, Factory Online, Stage 2A. Place one mana counter here. If Sabotage Maximum is not in a victory display, it is not in a victory display. So we have to search the encounter deck and discard pile for an M-Type Sentinel and reveal it. So let's look through here. We got M-Type Sentinel, so we're going to put it into play here. Thought we were doing really good until we got the advance. So this guy has guard when he's defeated, give manual tough status card. This scheme starts off with one mana counter and one threat. And then uh, our last encounter card here is going to be zero for the cause. Resolve the one defeat of each acolyte minion. If you don't engage the one, discard from the encounter deck until we get a minion, then reveal it. Okay. So we're going to mill until we get a minion. We got Sanyaka, which is an acolyte minion. And then he comes into play here. His attacks have piercing. It's back to us. All right, let's see. Uh, I think we... We have a lot of cards here. We could play... If we play this, we can play this as well. But then we're short for the stuff for Cuckoos. Or we could play the stuff for Cuckoos and save the doubles for next turn. How useful is Frozen Salt here to prevent an activation from Magneto? No, that would be pretty useful though. Okay, uh, let's use a double here so we can play our Arctic Attack. Hero Action Attack. Choose when pick the one to do four damage to the enemy and attach Frostbite to it. So that would knock out Sanyaka. And when Sanyaka is defeated, the player who defeated gets stunned. So we are stunned here. That will resolve our Arctic Attack. Then we're going to exhaust power belts, generate wild resource for an ice card. This would be two more resources, a double. So we can play our frozen solid, attach an enemy, we give this to Magneto. Next time he will activate, we discard frozen solid instead, then attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to that enemy. We're going to have Snow Clone swing for two at the M type Sentinel. And he'll take a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then we're going to, let's keep these cards in our hand, draw back up to our hands as a five. Got another frozen solid. Okay, Manuel's turn is going to add one to the main. He's going to attack us here. Uh, he has frozen solid, so we discard it instead. Give him a copy of Frostbite, and the attack does not go through. So he won't add a mana counter to the main scheme. This guy's going to hit us for two. Uh, with no ways to get it ready anyways. Oh, this could give us a ready if we draw into a card that we need, but I need to get rid of our stun, I think. Um, yeah, let's just take the attack. So we drop from 14 down to 12. Then in counter phase, we get an encounter card, which is Manuel's armor attached to Manuel. He has plus one attack, and he can't be stunned. All right, back to our turn. Uh, but we can't trigger freeze right now. That stun really stifled us here. We get our Colossus. He can knock out the Sentinel. I guess we just play Ice Slide here. Yeah, okay. Let's attack to remove our stun. This will be three resources we're paying for a basic card because the power of us is a double. So we play Colossus. Colossus has reduced the cost of playing by one. If your has a major extra trait, which you do have, so he's only three costs. He comes in with toughness. He's going to swing for three, knock out the M-Type Sentinel. When he's defeated, give Magneto Toughness. And Colossus will take a Consequent Damage, or two Consequent Damage, and knock off this Tough Status card. Then uh, let's have Snow Clone swing for two at Magneto, which will knock off his Tough Status. He won't take Consequent Damage because of the Frostbite that's on Magneto from the Frozen Solid from last turn. We're going to exhaust the Power Bunch, generate a wild resource for an Ice card. Second resource, so we can play Ice Slide, which is an Ice card. Iceman gets plus one Thor, plus one attack, and plus one defense, and gains aerial trait. Uh, when you change Arctic Eagle, that's a force response, we must shuffle this card back to our deck. Let's end our turn, and ready everyone back up. And we're going to draw back up to our hand size of five. Ooh, I like the readies here. Uh, we're still looking for Utopia, though, but this is a pretty good hand, I think. 
Okay, so Magneto's turn, he's going to add one to the main. It goes up to three. He's going to attack us. We're going to defend and trigger our freeze. So give him a copy of Frostbite and then trigger Crow Connect Perception. Since we uh, trigger our freeze ability, we exhaust his card, draw a card. If it has Ice Trait, we can ready. It doesn't have Ice Trait, so we don't get ready. But we are defending for three with a plus one defense from Ice Slide. He's swinging with a base of four minus two with the two Frostbite. So two total attack. Boost is three. So he's swinging for five. We're defending for, I should let's cut that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus two is five. Yeah. We're defending for three, swinging for five. So we take two damage, bring it from 12 down to 10. Then he has a man counter after attacking, and we set aside all the Frostbites. In counter phase, we get an encounter card, which is unit skill, a minion here with teamwork and toughness. All right, it's so back to our turn. Um, we haven't gotten, have we gotten our boarding card at all? Well, we got it with our first mulligans, and we haven't gotten it again. So we can't gun Magneto down until we clear off these sidesmen here, which we haven't been getting anything to help us do that. I want to get down the X jet. Uh, and then we get down either Utopia or stick to Itivness. Uh, or we could actually do Ice Wall, but we need to get down these other cards here. Okay, so currently our full hit points is 11 plus 3 is 14. We have 10 life left. That means we have 4 sustained damage. But we have less than 5 sustained damage. This is a double resource. So this would be 3 resources right here. So we could play the X-Jet. We can exhaust the X-Jet to generate a resource for the X-Men character. We are X-Men right here. This would be a second resource for a total of 2. So we can play Utopia. Then we're going to... Uh, Let's see. Ooh, we can't really do anything. Let's have Colossus swing for three, knock off the toughness from Uniskeon. It would take two consequential damage. A little bit of waster, but I want to keep Snowcone alive to block for us. Now, in our turn, let's ready back up, keeping the stick to Ithnus in our hand, and then we'll draw back up to our hands as a five. Okay, this is a. A good hand, I think. Okay, Magneto's turn is going to add one to the main. He's going to attack. We have Snow Clone defend. In with a base of four. Actually, uh, that's fine. Or should we have Colossus defend? Because we're going to be able to put some frost spikes. Should we keep Snow Clone alive? Yeah, that's fine. Let's have Colossus defend, actually. So Magneto's staying with a base of 4, plus a boost card of 1, knocks out Colossus. Then he has a mana counter after attacking. When there's 3 counters, we discard the 3 mana counters. Then we mill from the encounter deck until we get a magnetic card, and we reveal it. Got right here. Uh, you are stunned, then take 1 damage for each mana counter in the main scheme. There are none, so we don't take any damage. Unit scheme is going to hit us for 2. Uh, oof. We have to defend here because I want this to stay a double. So let's defend for three. Trigger our freeze. So we give her a copy of Frostbite. So if we triggered freeze and we defend for three, we don't hit any damage. We can trigger Crawl Connect Perception. We resolve freeze, exhaust this card, draw a card. Doesn't have the ice tray, so we don't get the ready. And then Magneto is going to deal us a face down encounter card, counter phase, which is Crisis of Infinite Deadpools. So we get Dreadpool coming out now. Dreadful Deeds, shuffle these three or these four uh, Dreadpool cards into the encounter deck. And then Crisis of Infinite Deadpools actually gets uh, removed from the game actually whenever it's revealed. So this gets removed. And then Dreadful Deeds says place two threat here for each player who controls one more pool card. So we don't have any pool cards, so this should only have two threat. All right. And then that's going to end Magneto's turn. So it's back to us. I want to get the mansion out here. So this would be four resources because we have four sustained damage. So this is still a double. Four resources so we can play Avengers Mansion. Let's exhaust it and try to draw an ally here. Okay, we got Forge. Um, can we play Forge? 
If we play force, we can hit Ice Blast. If we play Forge, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we play Forge, we can Ice Blast. Yeah, darn, we're short one resource there. Hmm. If we play Forge, then we could play the stick to the Tic Tac Toe. I mean, but then we won't be able to stick to Itiveness. Um, Amplify is not great. Forge can help us get rid of this. Yeah, I think we're going to take some damage this turn, which is okay. Uh, let's check our discard pile. Do we have... Actually, do we let Magneto... No, we haven't gone through any advances, so we can't flip down here. Um, we lost the number responsibility. Check in here for... If we have our uh, AoE attack, okay, we got another one, right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, so we have one copy of the Ice Blast here, so we should be drawing the next one this next turn. So I can use it as a resource right now. Let's exhaust the extra Jeremy Wild resource. Second resource, so we can play Forge. When he enters play, we can, we can search our deck and discard off for X-Men S for support. We don't have any more because we already have the extra Utopia down. Oh, he sends these X-Men out. We can exhaust Utopia to wrap in our X-Men character in Iceman. Then, uh, Snow Clone will swing for two at Eunice Gion because she has Frostbite, so he won't take consequential damage. Iceman's going to board for two with our Ice Slide and just clear off the Dreadful Deeds here. And then Forge. Um, let's Thor for one on Boarding Party and drop this down too. We take consequential damage, and let's also play our tic-tac-toe. It's a zero-cost upgrade. We can spend a resource to move a damage from a character over here, matching the spent resource. If there's three in a line, then we discard this card and do all damage on it to an enemy. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And we're going to draw back up to our hand size of five, keeping the stick to this here. Okay, there are the allies. So that's good. Uh, Magneto's turn, he's going to add... Oh, we didn't get the AoE, though. He's going to add one to the main. It goes up to five. He's going to attack us. We're going to have Forge block. Hit with a base of four plus a boost. Exhaust each eye you control. Snow Clone gets exhausted here. So four damage knocks out Forge. After Manio attacks, he gets a mana counter. Uniskeon is going to hit us here. Uh, why does she have Frostbite? Did I forget to discard it, actually? Uh, I think I may have dis forgot to discard that Frostbite from her. Because if we gave her Frostbite... Oh, when we defended, we trigger Freeze. So she didn't do damage to us, but it should have been immediate... Okay, so Frostbite should have actually been immediately discarded from Eunice Gion whenever she attacked us from last turn. So Snow Clone would have taken Consequence consequential damage if he attacked her so he actually is gone here as well unfortunately okay so i'm just fixing a mistake that i made she's gonna hit us for two we take it dropping from 10 down to eight dreadful hits us for two we drop from eight down to six encounter card we got caught off guard discard upgrade or support you control let's just card the tic-tac-toe here that's a zero cost uh upgrade and it's back to our turn okay Let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Okay. Um, let's see here. Iceman's going to Thor for two to clear off the boring party side scheme here. When the side scheme is defeated, it's going to flip over to Sabotage Master Mode, also coming in with 3 Threat. We're going to exhaust the extra to generate a wild resource for, an ice, for, uh, for ourselves because we have the X-Men trait. This is a double pain for a basic card, so we can play Professor X. When we enter play, we can exhaust Utopia to revenue our X-Men character in Iceman. 
Exo with Thor for a 3 to clear off Sabotage Master Mode. When side team is defeated, it's going to go into the victory display, and we review the Orb of Decay side team, also coming in with 3 threat. Professor X will take a consequential damage. Oh, I forgot, when a Professor X enters play, we have to choose one. It's a force response, so we choose the one to confuse the villain. But Magneto has, um, he has a, uh, what's that called? A steady, so he needs two confused assets cards to fully be confused, so it's not fully confused yet. Then we're going to two resources here, so we can play triage. When Sheriff enters play, Hue 2 damage from Excavator, let's Hue 2 from Iceman, so we go from 7 up to 8. We're going to play Get Ragey. Ready an ally, we're ready Professor X, he gets plus 1 attack in the end of the phase. We're going to have him thwart for 3 to clear off the orb of the K side team here. When Sizem is defeated, we flip over to Physical Strain, attach to menu. he loses steady, so now he is fully confused. X will take a consequential damage from thwarting. Iceman's going to thwart for, uh, oh shit, we just attacked to remove our stun. Yeah, we're going to attack to remove our stun. And then triage with Thor for one from the main, drop this down to four. All right? And then uh, he'll take Cosmic damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're going to draw back up to our hand size of five here. We deck out, actually, so we get a face down and counter card. Shuffle our discard pile back to the deck. And there are two copies of the chilled out there. In the ice blast that we need to uh, AOE these guys. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So it's Magneto's turn to get out of one to the main. It goes back up to five. He's going to attack us. We're gonna have Professor X block. He's hitting with a base of four. Oops. Oops. Oh man, I dropped it. The boost card here is what is it? Uh, two. So it's going to do 4 plus 2 is 6 damage, knocks out Professor X. All right, and then he adds a mana counter after attacking. And then do we just take these attacks here? I think we do. Uh, so both minions will hit us for 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to take it off on our span. That will bring us from 8 down to 4. Then in counter phase, we have 2 encounter cards here because in the deal zone, we have 1 from the 4. Metal Shards, do one damage to each character you control. Triage takes one, he's dead. Iceman takes one, we draw from four down to three. And it plays a mana counter main scheme. When there's three counters, we discard the three counters. And remove from the encounter until we get a magnetic card, which is hopefully not the helmet. Electric Shock, you are stunned. So I shouldn't have cleared it last turn. Take a damage from each mana counter in the main scheme. There are none, so don't take any damage. Last encounter card, wrapped in metal, attached to your identity. We cannot... Thor, attack, defend, and recover. We must exhaust those and spend a physical to discard this card. Alright, back to our turn. Let's mansion so we can draw a card. Definitely want to flip down here to heal. Except we can't because we're wrapped in metal, actually. Uh, then we ice blast for sure. I'll give him that needle toughness. We need to exhaust and do this thing. All right. Um, we're going to trigger this action here. Exhaust your identity. Spend a physical resource. Let's use the X shit here to generate a physical resource. So we can discard this card, the wrapped in metal. All right. Next, we want to, I think, Ice Blast. And then play Forge, because we need the Thwarting from Forge. Thor for one from here. We could also just play Snow Clone. Have Iceman Thor for two. No, I think Forge is the better play right now. And if you advance that, that with the Encounter card, I think we're okay. Yeah, I'd rather have ourselves recover. Okay, so we're going to exhaust power by generating a water resource for an ice card. Two more for a total of three resources, so we can play Ice Blast, which is an ice card. Hero action is not an attack, so it's going to bypass our stun. 
attach a copy of Frostbite to each enemy in play. So, or each enemy engaged with us, we choose ourselves uh, with the effect here, and we attach a set-aside copy of Frostbite to each enemy engaged with that player, including the villain. And then do three damage to each enemy with a copy of Frostbite attached. So three damage on Magneto will bring from 16 down to 13. Three damage on Dreadpool will kill him. When he's defeated, we deal him to the player who defeated him as a face-down encounter card. This Frostbite gets set aside. Then a three damage on you, skill kills her. When she's defeated, give the villain a tough status card. So Magneto gains toughness. And then she gets defeated, and Frostbite gets set aside. Okay. And then we're going to use two resources here. So we can play Forge. When Forge enters play, he's an X-Men ally, so we exhaust you total to revenue our X-Men character. Forge with Dwarf from 1 from the main, drop it down to 4 again. We take consequential damage. And then we're going to flip down to Archer Eagle. When we do that, as a force response, we must shuffle the ice slide back into our deck, and it would cool off. When you change this form, shuffle one ice card from this card into your deck for each copy of Frostbite in play. There's one Frostbite, so we get one ice card here. Let's get our trusty Snow Cone back into our deck as well. So let's uh, shuffle up our deck. And since we got rid of the Wrapped in Metal, we can now make a basic recovery. So let's go ahead and exhaust to recover by 4. I'll bring some 3 back up to 7. So we got a little bit of life back. Alright, and that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We got Manuel fully confused because of the physical strain. Then we're going to draw back up to our hand size here of 6. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, oof, okay. Magneto's turn. He's going to add one to the main, goes up to five again. He's going to scheme, but he is confused, so nothing happens. And then uh, the frostbite stays on him because he never activated. Uh, the confused goes away. Then in counter phase, we get an encounter card. Total two. First one is Dreadpool, right? And then uh, we got M type Sentinel here. That's going to end Magneto's turn, so it's back to our turn. Okay. That wasn't bad. Let's exhaust mansion, draw a card. We're going to exhaust your card by four. That brings from seven back up to eleven. So our max hit points is eleven plus three is fourteen. So we don't have three sustained damage now. So these are currently uh, double resources right here. So can we play everything? Uh, I want a frozen solid. I want an Ice Blast. And we don't have anything to use to power all of us with. And I guess we just Arctic Attack, which I don't really care about doing, but we can just do it anyways. All right. Um, let's see here. My units can gain toughness back again after we kill the M-Type Sentinel, which is a little bit annoying. We can't get it ready, so Arctic Attack will just remove our stun, actually. Um, and we can't kill the MTS Sentinel this turn either. Let's flip over here to Hero Form. We're going to use a double and power belt, generate a wild resource for an ice card, and play our frozen solid attached to Magneto. It's going to block his next activation. So whenever he activate, we discard frozen solid instead, then set aside a copy of Frostbite to that enemy. We're going to use a double resource here in the X Jet for a total of three. So we can play Ice Blast. Choose a player, we choose ourselves. Attach a copy of Frostbite to each enemy engaged with that player. So Dreadpool, Sentinel, and Magneto. And then three damage to all those characters. It's not an attack, so it's going to bypass the stun. Knocks out Dreadpool, he's dealt to us as based on counter card. Set the Frostbite aside. Three damage on Sentinel. Three to Magneto will just knock off his toughness. And that'll bypass the guard too, because it's not an attack. Uh, I would like an ally, but a little bit unfortunate here. This, let's just use it as two resources to play Arctic Attack here, Ash Attack, which just removes our stun. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. We're kind of just coasting here. Draw back up to our hands as a five. Okay, got some snow clones now. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. This is going to pop. Um, It's okay. I forgot. So oh, we're actually going to not responsibility to that. That's okay, because we drew into a lucky card there. I uh, should have forged door for one, but it's okay. So Magneto turns get added one threat to the main scheme. We're going to trigger not my responsibility. When any of my threat will be placed on a scheme, you or Ally takes a damage set. Let's take that one damage on Iceman. So we take a damage drop from 11 down to 10, and we don't put that threat on the main scheme. A little bit of a waste, but it's okay. 
Uh, Magneto's going to attack us. He's frozen solid, so he won't activate. And then after we discard that, we set a copy of Frostbite to him. So he has, now has three Frostbites on him. And that's going to hit us for two. Minus one attack with the Frostbite, so just one damage will bring us from 10 down to 9. And then we discard the Frostbite, or set it aside. Uh, then we could dealt in Counter Card, in Counter Face. Dreadpool comes back. Metal Shards do one damage to each character you control. So Forge is knocked out. One to Iceman drops us down to 8 from 9. And then place a Mana Counter in main scheme. Alright, back to our turn. Let's Mansion, draw a card, and we're finally readied right now so we can try to make a play. We could play Snow Clone. We could play Shadow Cat. And then we draw a card with our Crowd Kinetic uh, Perception here. Okay, Iceman's going to swing for two at the M-Type Sentinel. We trigger Crowd Connect Perception. We trigger a Freeze ability, I mean. So we attach a copy of Frostbite to Empath Sentinel. When we trigger Freeze, we can exhaust this card, draw a card. Because it has the Ice Tribune ready of Iceman. That two attack is going to knock out the Sentinel. When he's defeated, give Magneto a tough stats card. And this Frostbite gets set aside. Okay, that was pretty big for us. All right, and the main scheme still on stage 2B, which is really good as well if we get an advantage or something like that. Do we actually not play shadow cat we could just get out two snow clones uh no wait we need to do some story so we gotta play shadow cat i was thinking about playing a frozen solid but i think max out on alice right now is going to be the best play so if this gets out shadow cat two snow clones shadow cat's going to thwart yeah, okay. Um, this would be three resources here. So we can play Shadow Cat. She's an X-Men ally. We only play we have the X-Men trait. But this is a double paying for basic card, by the way. So that's why it's three. When she enters play, she has a response, but we can't trigger anyway because there's no side schemes for her to target with that. And then... Do we knock out Dreadpool here? Uh, or do we just take his damage? We could easily just knock him out. I, th I think we just do that. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and swing for two at Dreadpool, trigger freeze to give him a copy of Frostbite. Then we're going to exhaust the X shot and the power belt to generate a water resource for an ice card to play our snow clone. When it enters play, it's an X-Men ally. We can exhaust your toe to revenue an X-Men character, an Iceman. Shadowcat's gonna throw for two from the main, drop it down to three. She'll take a consequential damage. And I forgot, Dreadpool should take in the two damage whenever we made a basic attack on him. Snow clone's gonna swing for two. Knock out Dreadpool. Since it has Frostbite on him, the Snowclone would not take Consequential. So Dreadpool is dealt to us as an encounter card again. We set the Frostbite aside. This would be a double to play another Snowclone. He's going to swing for two. Knock off Magneto's Toughness. He won't take Consequential damage because Magneto has Frostbites on him. And Iceman's going to swing for two at Magneto. Trigger Freeze. Give him another Frostbite. And then do two damage. That'll bring him from 13 down to 11. And I kind of want to flip here. Because if he schemes out, we're okay. I don't want to get a mana counter. Um, if we get an encounter card, that's a scheme. Because I'm seeing he's scheming with two. If he gets a boost of four, it still won't pop because he has minus four scheme. And we're going to flip down here to alter. Check our discard power. Let me check the discard, the encounter deck to see its activations. Master of Magnetism, one advance. So he has two more Master of Magnetism, which will make him activate, and one more advance. If I flip down now, I can get some ice cards back in. Like a frozen solid. And I try to heal again. I probably should have just healed right now instead of attacking him. That's fine. Um, how many more allies do we have for the readies? I think we're going to flip down here. So we're going to flip down to Alter Eagle. Cool off is our response. When we change this form, shuffle one ice card from this card into your deck for each copy of Frostbite in play. We have four Frostbite, so we get four ice cards. Let's get both Frozen Solids and Arctic Attack and our Ice Blast in case we get the minion. Okay. 
or just to manage the uh, Dreadpool, actually. So we shove these cards back into our deck. With our Arch Ego response, let's shuffle up. And then we're going to end our turn. So let's ready everyone back up and then draw back up to our hand size of six. Hopefully we can get a big turn here. We don't get any electromagnetic blast, I mean. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Magneto's turn one to the main. He's gonna scheme with a base of two minus four with the frostbite. This is the boost. Give him a tough stats card, another face down boost card, which gets reviewed now. So scheme with a total of five, right? One, two, three, four, five, minus four. He's only scheming for one. So that's gonna make this hit five. And it flips at six, so we're okay. Then we we'll discard all the frostbites. Or set them aside, I mean. And then in counterface, we get an encounter card for a total of two. First one is Dreadpool, and we got Exhaustion, Exhaustion Denny. That's gonna surge. Let me evolve a mean here with Star Wars and Teamwork. All right, uh, I didn't want to get exhausted there, but it's okay. So we're gonna exhaust the mansion now. Back to our turn and ready back up for a uh, draw card. I mean, not ready. Uh, we got Colossus. Let's see, what do I want to do? I would like to play one ally. We have an ally of four with Utopia with X Men, so we can play one ally. I want to play Frozen Solid and stick to Itivness. So Frozen Solid is going to be this and this. And let's use Showdown, right? So this would be the three resources for Frozen Solid. Then if we play an ally, we can get a ready with Utopia. We can attack. Emilio Vault, trigger Crowd Connect Perception, draw a card, and possibly play a Stick to Itiveness. Unless it's a card that we want. Um, it's okay, we're just going to do it anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and flip over here to Hero Form. Hero Form only. Actually, let's save everything in our hand first to see what we want to do. So let's go ahead and play an ally first. We're going to exhaust the extra to generate a water resource. And then Showdown will be a second resource, so we can play. Angel. This is reduce the cost of play by one. If you have the X-Men or Mutant trait, we do have the X-Men trait, so it's only two costs. When we play, we exhaust Utopia to ramp up an X-Men character, so we play an X-Men ally. And because of Utopia, we have an ally limit of four if they're all X-Men, which they all are. Isomen's readied up now, so we're going to swing for two at Amelia Vault, trigger our Freeze, which will attach a copy of Frostbite to her. When we trigger Freeze, we exhaust a Crowd Connect Perception to draw a card. If it has an Aisha, which it does, we can ready back up, which is huge. Okay, so we got that ready already. And then uh, let's have Shadowcat Thor for two from the main. Drop some five down at three. She'll take a consequential damage. Uh, we're gonna... Let's swing for two with Iceman on Dreadpool. Trigger Freeze to give him Frostbite. He'll take... Two damage and we're so built out with our allies right now because snow clones and swing for two not got dreadpool he won't take consequential damage because frostbite's on dreadpool he's dealt to as an encounter card set aside frostbite this snow clone swings for two knocks out amelia vault when she's defeated we get confused and then he won't take consequential damage because the frostbite's on her set aside frostbite and amelia vault is gone then we want to play frozen saw and stick to intimus so we're going to exhaust power bucks, generate a water resource for an ice card. Two more resources for a total of, actually. Oh wait, do we want to just Arctic attack him here? Um, could make a push at him. We have allies to block. Yeah, let's actually have Angel swing for two, knock off Magneto's tough status card. We'll take a consequential damage. Uh, I think we have Professor X coming up in the deck. No, he's gone. Uh, do we have another Frozen Solid, though? Yeah, we want the Frozen Solid for whenever we flip down to Alter to prevent him from scheming. Let's take a risk and try to gun him down a little bit. I think we're okay doing that because we're okay with this scheme being there. 
So let's exhaust power belt to generate a water resource for an ice card. Second resource to play Arctic attack, hero action attack, do four damage to an enemy and attach a copy of frostbite to it. So we're gonna give Magneto frostbite. Four damage range from eleven down to seven. Okay. Then actually, I think we just do the frozen solid. Actually, that's probably the better, safer play. So three resources to play frozen solid, attach to enemy. Next time to activate with his cards instead and give him a frostbite. Okay. Uh, that's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. Then we're gonna draw back up to our hand size hero five. We got another frozen solid, so we can flip down here. So it's Magneto's turn. He's gonna add one threat to the main scheme. He's gonna attack us. We discard the frozen solid instead. And then we set a copy of Frost by attached to him. He didn't attack, so we don't add a mana counter to the main scheme. And counter phase is gonna encounter card. First one's dreadful. Then we've got the acolytes, a side scheme with three threat, each acolyte minion against guard. Alright, so it's back to our turn. Let's mansion so we can draw a card. We got Beak, which can just clear off the Acrolytes here. Um, I want to flip down for sure, then save Ice Slide in the hand. So Shadow Cat's going to throw for two from the main, drop this down to two. Should take Consequential, consequential Damage, get knocked out here. Then we're going to have Iceman. Let's swing for two. At Dreadpool and trigger our. Actually, wait a minute. Let's just let him scheme. We're gonna, he doesn't have guards, so let's swing for two at Magneto and trigger our freeze ability to give him a copy of Frostbite. So, two damage on Magneto will bring him from seven down to five. And if we trigger Crowd Connect Perception, after we trigger Freeze to draw a card, no Ice Ray, so we don't get a draw, but it's okay. So, Magneto has three copies of Frostbite on him now. Uh, we want to play Beak now. So. Let's use, um, we don't care about the Ice Blast, actually. We have so many resources in our hand right now. I got to make sure that we use things correctly, though, because we can't to play a lot of cards in Ultra Eagle, which I want to flip down right now to get our deck heightened up with all the copies of Frostbite. And want to get our attack cards back in there. Um, okay, let's play our Tic-Tac-Toe. It's zero cost upgrade. We can... Spend a resource of any type to move a damage from a character to an empty space above, uh, to an empty space e equaling that resource that we spent. If there's three in the line, we discard this card and deal all the damage to it to an enemy. And then I think we play Beak here. So double resource so we can play Beak. When Beak enters play from your hand, remove one threat from a scheme for each X-Men ally control. We have four X-Men allies. Let's clear off the acolytes here. Four threat. Side scheme is defeated. And then we exhaust Utopia when Beak enters play because he's an X-Men ally to represent an X-Men character in Iceman. And then, let's see, if we Frozen Solid Magneto, we can attack him, Frostbite, and then get some stuff on Tic-Tac-Toe, I think. And we got rid of Exhaustion already, so we're looking pretty good here. Okay, let's have Iceman uh, swing. Actually, wait, should we just play the... Should we play Ice Slide and still play Frozen Solid? No, but then we don't get Tic-Tac-Toe. I need to get Tic-Tac-Toe going a little bit. Okay. Iceman's going to swing for two at Magneto. We're going to trigger Freeze to give him another copy of Frostbite. Then two damage on him brings him five down to three. We're just going to flip him here. So Snow Clone is going to swing for two. No consequential damage because Magneto has Frostbite. That'll bring from three down to one. And then, yeah, this Snow Clone is going to swing for two. That'll bring Magneto from one down to zero. And flip him over to his third and final stage here, where he has 22 life. And then his one reviewed is to do each player face on a counter card. So getting a counter card, he comes with Steady and Toughness. Okay, and Snow Clone would not take consequential damage because of the Frostbites. Beak will swing for one, knock off Magneto's tough status card. He'll take a consequential damage. And then Angel's going to swing for two at Magneto. That'll bring from 22 down to 20. And then he'll take a consequential damage. 
And then we want to, oh, wait a minute. You can play Ice Slide in Alter Ego. But after you change the Alter Ego, we shelf this card into your deck. So I think we actually don't get Tic-Tac-Toe going, and we actually play the Ice Slide in Alter Ego, which is a little bit weird, but that's okay. So let's exhaust Power Belts, generate a water resource for an Ice card. Extra would be a second resource. This would be a third resource, so it can play Frozen Solid. We're going to attach to an enemy in hero form only. So we are in hero form. We attach to Magneto. It's going to prevent Zest activation, and we give him a copy of Frostbite. Uh, so we did that, and then we're going to flip down here to Alter Ego. Cool off. We can, after you change this form, shuffle one Ice card into your discard pile for each, uh, into your deck for each copy of Frostbite in play. Four copies of Frostbite. We'll get four Ice cards here. So let's definitely get both our Arctic Attacks, which are a big attack event. And let's just go ahead and get the Ice Blast, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to get these four cards shuffled back into our deck. And our deck is, what is that? Yeah, we have seven cards left in our deck. So we should draw everything up with the mansion so we could get all of our attack events here. No, we won't deck out. So we only get two encounter cards here. I think we got the kill here. Okay, and then while we're in Ultra Ego, we can use this as a double resource to play this two cost upgrade, which we can play in Ultra Ego because it doesn't say hero form only. We get plus one Thor, plus one attack, and plus one defense, and we get an aerial trait. This has force response after you change the Ultra Ego form, shelf this card in your deck. Since we're in Ultra Ego, we're not changing to it. We don't have to shelf it into our deck. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then we are still confused here, but we're going to draw back up to our hand size here of six in Arch Eagle. And we should be getting the kill shot. Okay, and we have one more Arch Attack right here on top of our deck. All right, so Magneto's turn, he's going to add one to the main, goes up to three threat. He's going to scheme, but he is frozen solid. Nothing happens, it gets discarded, and we give him a copy of Frostbite. Then Dreadpool is going to scheme with a base of two, so this goes up to five. Then Manu is going to deal with encounter card during encounter phase. First card is an advance, so he's going to scheme with a base of three, minus five scheme though. The boost card is zero, so he's scheming for actually zero. So no threat gets out of the main scheme, it does not flip. When schemes, he does not add a mana counter to the main scheme. Last encounter card, Poolized, uh, attached to ally with the highest cost without Poolized attached. Angel is the highest cost being three. So he becomes a minion now, and he has one scheme and two attacks. So he's against us now. But he does not have guard, and near this dread pool. So we are good for the kill here. Let's go ahead and exhaust Avengers Mansion. So we can draw a card. Since we deck out, we get a face down encounter card from Magneto. And let's shuffle up our discard pile back to the deck. Right, and then uh, well, we don't have any allies to play, uh, so no readying. I think let's flip over here to hero form. Since these minions don't have guard, let's move them aside, and we can attack Magneto directly. Oh, and I forgot. After he activates, we must discard all the copies of Frostbite. So after he schemed for zero, we uh, should have set these cards aside. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Okay. Um, Iceman has plus one attack, plus one scheme, or plus one Thor, and plus one defense with the Ice Slide. Let's swing for three at Magneto, trigger freeze. So we give him a copy of Frostbite. And then we're going to trigger our Card Connect Perception. After you resolve your freeze ability, exhaust his card, draw a card. If it has Ice Ray, we can ready. We don't have the Ice Ray, so we don't get ready. But that's three damage on Magneto. That brings from 20 down to 17. Uh, but we got an ally. So can we play the ally? Arctic Attack. Arctic attack and get ready. Yeah, we can. Okay. So this will be two resources here. So we can play triage. When triage enters play, Hue 2 damage from X-Men Carrier. Let's Hue 2 from Iceman go from A up to 10. And then we can exhaust Utopia when X-Men Ally Al enters play to rev our X-Men character in Iceman. And then we're going to uh, let's have the snow clone swing for two at Magneto. That'll bring from 17 down to 15. No consequential because uh, he has frostbite on him. This snow clone will also swing for two. That'll bring it from 15 down to 13. And then we're going to play Get Ragey. Zero cost the event, right up an ally. It gets plus one attack in the face. Snow clone now has three attack. Let's have this one swing for three. That'll bring Magneto from 13 down to 10. And then we're going to, let's have Iceman 
thwart to remove our confuse just so it looks a little bit better because uh, the confuse is bugging me and then we're going to exhaust the extra germany wall resource power belt is going to be a wall resource for an ice card so we play our arctic attack hero ash and attack choose one let's move everything aside we're going to choose the one to do six damage and with frost by attached so we're going to hit manual for six that will bring from ten down to four Then we're going to use two more resources right here so we can play a second Arctic attack. Hero Ashton attack choose. We're going to pick the one to do six damage and enemy with frost by attached. And that will bring Magneto down to zero. And that is Magneto on expert mode. 